Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be installing this gorgeous fake scalp bob lace wig. She came courtesy of By Lace and of course they gave me a coupon code for you guys so make sure you check out the description box for that. This is the packaging that the wig came in. They gave me this cute little tangle teaser brush which I am so excited about because I love everything mini and also some wig caps. Now this here is a body weight textured bob wig. Two men hair of course. Um, the dimensions are 13 by 6 and of course it has that fake scalp in the inside. They included the adjustable straps which has the bra strap capability so you can adjust it which is always perfect. And as you guys can see I was easily able to remove the wig I had on previously because I do wear my wigs in front of my hairline it's not touching my actual hair so if I kind of pull it off a little bit um, I'm not like you know pulling out real hair so sometimes that's easier for me to do that but of course I recommend that you do this completely with alcohol here I'm showing you that the cap that I am wearing will pretty much show up seamlessly because it is my complexion or maybe like a half a shade darker it's definitely going to make it a little bit easier to pull off since I will not be doing the ball cap second cap method today now one thing I love is that when the hairline looks snatched I kind of feel like when you have the flyaways and the frizzies it's harder to slay the wig because they're always in the way so if I'm not like wetting the hairline normally I would like hot comb it by habit just to make it easier to actually see what I'm doing when I'm cutting off the lace or um, you know installing the wig or what have you. As you guys can see this wig is a gorgeous texture it's definitely pre-plucked so I opted not to pluck anything out today. I absolutely absolutely love the fact that this one is definitely like a black color. Normally your wigs kind of come in that light brown or it's a dark brown but you know it's lighter than this kind of color and I feel like a wig always pops so much more and so much better when it is dyed black so kudos to them for that extra little touch. If I did not mention this one is 13 by 6 in dimension so I definitely am excited to do a center part and look how that looks so seamless. Even though my sideburns are definitely a different texture the way it blends with my natural hair is just unreal. So today I kind of switched it up just a little bit and I went for the Got To Be Glued Gel. Normally I use the free spray but the gel will give me a little bit of a longer hold. The spray I kind of use day to day, the gel I can go like two to three days. So it's all about preference. This one does take a little bit longer to dry before putting over your head. So I would say let it um, you know, air dry if you're not using a blow dryer. For at least a good 30 to 45 seconds. Normally I would do like two coats of it. Or two layers but today I did one and you can always see the true true I guess not definition but you can always see really what the hairline is gonna look like once you've bonded the wig down before it was nice and pretty plucked but now you can see you absolutely don't need to pluck anything it kind of pulls it taut on your hairline and you can really really see what's going on normally I would take a rat tail comb and kind of just press that um, hairline that lays into my scalp while it continues to dry and I kind of do circular motions just to make sure that the baby hair or the hairline is not just going straight back it's going in different directions. Speaking of baby hair we're definitely going to be doing a little bit today. I kind of like it when the baby hair is a little bit sparse and not so like parted straight across kind of just a little bit sporadic. And of course I'm going to use my foam motion opposed to edge control because foam motion is life. Edge control is so yesterday. Now I'm going to go back in with that hot comb. Everything that I use, including this electric hot comb, is listed in the description box for you guys to check out. And I'm pretty much going to go ahead and 
really, 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 really make sure that the hairline is super pressed out because I'm going to be exposing it today and I really, really just want it to look as amazing and as much like my scalp as possible. Absolutely got excited when I seen the parting. I almost forgot that this one had the fake scalp glowing and it just looks so good. You guys will see I forgot to add powder in the parting in this video because it already looks so good that I didn't even feel like I really needed powder. Now I definitely will say it will be a little bit better if I add powder um, around the hairline. But again, this one I was able to pull off without doing anything. And that's how amazing the fake scalp is, is that you literally don't have to bleach any knots, tint any lace. You freaking almost don't even have to add powder to the parting, which is amazing. And I'm still using this electric hot comb to kind of form the hair in the way that I want it to go. The parting I want to be super, super flat and sleek. And I kind of want that little waterfall in the front. So I added a little bit of a volumizing spray for none other than volume. And I kind of use a brush and just go back and forth. I feel like a good install is always about the finesse. Here I am adding a little bit of a heat protectant. Ironically, I've been putting heat <laughs> in it already and forgot to add my heat protectant. So going in now before I add a few curls, I like this heat protectant because it definitely adds a little bit of shine. It doesn't stay like way down or um, glossy. It's just the initial, you know, what it looks like. But it definitely adds shine, cancels out frids, adds a little bit of body, and it's still weightless. But I added a little bit of bang because I kind of want to do a little bit of a feather. I've been working on my curl and my feather a little bit more because that's something that I still am not perfect at. But I do love the way it looks so I kind of want to get it down pat as I've been saying for a while. And this is pretty much what I'm going for so I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Trim down a little bit of a face frame bang. It's going to even look good if I decided to straighten it out in a few days. It's going to look super duper good, especially with those things that I added. And if I, I know I mentioned that you, to you guys that this is 13 by 6, but you guys can see how nice and far back that parting goes. Definitely makes it look a little bit more realistic in my book. And so I'm not going to go around and curl the entire wig. I just kind of wanted to touch up the curls in the front just for a more custom look to kind of fit me and be a little bit more, um, how would I say it, popping. <laughs> Again, this is a body wave texture, but I do feel like um, the curls were pretty much complementary to it opposed to adding like a gel or a foam to the ends. And that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Again, she came from By Lace. I'm going to add a little bit of um, my Got To Be Green spray just to make sure that the front of the hairline doesn't lift with all the manipulation I've done so far. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Also, don't forget my coupon code. Use code Ashley at checkout for money off. Again, don't forget to subscribe. It's going to help me out a lot. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.